Fine. You asked for it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, look at the face! Ooh. Hello everybody, Grey Steel Blaze, and we're back with more Kindergarten. The game where the choices all lead to death and sadness, and eventually, just when you think things are going right, you end up getting shot in the face by the principal. So let's go and continue onward. I saw a bunch of the comments. People are starting to comment like, Kindergarten, the place where, <laughs> and then people are like, your cheating whore five-year-old girlfriend, you know, has a baby while you're in prison. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, man, what kind of stuff do I want to bring with me? I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and bring this stuff. I don't know if it's going to be super useful. Do I want this note? Yeah, sure. I'm going to take the note. We're going to need a bunch of money, too. So one of the things that I want to do today, I'm going to take this just in case. Again, I don't think that we have, like, a limit to how much stuff we can carry. At least none that I found. One of the things that I want to do today is I want to complete the elimination quest where we eliminate everyone. At least I think that's a quest. It's got to be. It's on the hint side or the hint menu. You know what I mean. Let's go ahead and take all this money. Now, from what I understand, you need as much money as you can gather and I have a pretty good idea of how I want to eliminate everyone in this game. We already know how to eliminate bugs. I know how to eliminate Nugget. I have an, uh, uh, I know how to eliminate Monty. I'm pretty sure I know how to do Jerome. And I think I have an idea of how to do Cindy and Lily as well. We're going to try this a bunch. So first things first. First, we have to get the living crap kicked out of us by, uh, by, uh, big bugs over here. What the hell his name is. All right, we'll give him a couple of bucks, but then his bitch ass is going to have to pay for his transgressions. Over here to Mrs. Tiddly Sprinkles. Ma'am, do you know what sort of horrible things are afoot on your property? Let's see here. Uh, what's in it for me? The gold star. Uh, okay, let's just go straight. Okay, I love a good kitty fight. Me too, Mrs. Uh, you know, bosom smackers. All right, let's go over here. Get into the old fight with bugs and get him thrown out of school. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. Your dad's never coming back, you sad piece of garbage. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. Ow. 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 I wonder if you just allow yourself to continue to get pummeled if your character actually dies. I should probably check that out. Anyway, one child down. Several left to go, boys. When we're done, we're going to be the best student in the school. Because we're going to be the only student in the school. Get out of here, bugs, you piece of human excrement. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Don't worry, bugs. When uh, when Groundhog's Day resets, I'm sure I'll use you for something. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star. All right. Gold star number one. Now, she pretty much walks us through how to get rid of Jerome. And that's what I was talking about, getting rid of Jerome. Cindy's a little bit more difficult, but I think I have an idea. Let's continue moving on here. All right, after several trial and errors, I think I know what to do. Go over here to Monty. Odds are you need some things, and we do. We're going to want to buy something. I think we need the voice recorder. There it is. Pretty cool gadget. It can help you keep out of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. $2.50. Well, boys, we're about to get accused of something we didn't do. Are you ready for this bullcrap? Oh, Cindy, you dirty little whore. Hey there, cutie, I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Sure. That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Isn't our love enough? So now we have to continue to say that we're not proving jack shit to her. I'm not proving anything to you, woman. All right, maybe I do want to prove something to you. Hold on, that didn't turn out as planned. Ready to prove your love to me? Um, let me see here. Does this, Son of a bitch. All right, let's try why. How about that? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, and nicest girl you'll ever meet? Yes, 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 you're a hoe. You don't seem like any of those things. Excuse me, there we go. I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you taken out. <laughs> I would have you taken out. Oh, God. See, I can only pre-play so much of this game. That's why I make so many mistakes. Because if I if I pre-play all of it, then I won't know. Well, then I will know what's coming, and I won't get to be surprised by this text. I love the writing in this game. That's The, the scripting in this game is the best I've seen in a long time. How would you do that? I'd like to see you try. I, I don't know. I assume it's I'd like to see you try. Fine. You asked for it. What are you going to do? <laughs> 
Oh my god, look at the face! Oh! <laughs> look at the face! Yes! Oh dearie me! What on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry rape. Yes, you did. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me, because at five years old, that's totally normal. Sigh. Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape, but as per school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. Oh, crap. What, you're punishing me for almost being raped? Cindy the victim. Now you listen to me, you little parasite. <laughs> you are going to the principal's office. End of story. You little parasite. I love the I love the words that Miss Applegate comes up with. Degenerate parasite. Looks good. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal when he sticks a 45 in your face. Although I don't think that that gun that he has is a 45. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. <laughs> Great. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. <laughs> God, they're really good at making children feel valuable. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Just you wait, Bugs. I got something else for your candy ass. All right, you two, let's get this over with. All right, Morgan Freeman, we're here. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. You can see, she did a fantastic job of fighting us off. We look like we've been frickin' 12 rounds with Mike Tyson over here. I'm going to assume that you're going to deny that you raped her, is that correct? What's rape? I gotta click on it. Uh, it's when a man, uh, does this. <laughs> you know what? Ask your, ask your parents. No, wait, don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it so I could move on with my life. I didn't do it. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. Oh no, I've got some proof, Mr. Gunslinger McGuns. I don't know, what is this guy's actual name? It's whatever Jerome's last name is, isn't it? It's, I'll, I'll bet it's in here somewhere. Someone mentioned the blood underneath the little, this like crappy little patch that he has on his floor. It's like he decided to go to freaking linens and things and choose the most obvious pattern to go up against his green striped, I don't even know what this is, some sort of green striped crap catastrophe. I recorded the incident. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but he, what? Okay, fine, but he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm gonna keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No. Now, why don't you run on back to class now? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Yeah, learning. And if by learning, you mean almost getting killed by everyone in school. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You've earned a gold st Oh, you would have earned a gold star. Would have. Well, our little, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I had hoped. But don't worry. There's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, uh, yes. The high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad is the boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'll bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. Uh, why don't you just take it? Now, we remember all this. I can do that. We're just going to go straight to that. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. You got it. Uh, let me see here. Updater plan, uh, planners updated. Okay. Okay. So, to be Jerome's friend... We need a yo-yo, first things first. So we gotta go over here to Monty. Monty, you little friggin' black market frickin' shadow broker. Go ahead and give me that yo-yo, I know it's a dollar. You know what would be horrible if the prices in this game changed after a while? Oh, I would cry myself to sleep. All right, Jerome, you little scumbag. Here's a friggin' yo-yo right up in here. He's gonna save that for me. He ain't saving jack shit for you. He's saving it for Ace Ventura with the black eye over here. You know what time it is. Yeah, I'll help you as a friend, and by help you, I mean, get you sent to the principal's office. Although, what is his dad really gonna do? I mean, is his dad gonna shoot his own son in the face? This like some sort of like, some sort of like friggin' uh, what's that called? You know, the one 
where the dad kills the son. And it's the thing. I don't know. Is that a Star Wars? <laughs> Highlander? I don't know. You guys got to help me out with this movie thing. All right. Um, I can do that. Okay. Let's go grab the hall pass. And then we're going to screw him over. Go ahead and get him to distract. But we're not going anywhere. In fact. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to grab. Well, apparently I took too long and I didn't get anything. I should have taken the damn money. You blow it. There's no way she's going to put up with another distraction. I'm screwed. Give me my pass back. Oh, shit. Okay, I see what I just did wrong. All right, I'm done being a dumbass. Actually, I don't think I'll ever be done being a dumbass. Dumb being a dumbass? Done being a dumbass. That was a tongue twister. Uh, so instead of I'm ready, go distractor, let's do give me a minute. And did he give us the hall pass? Hold on here. Well, did you get it? Okay, all right. So we have to get it. And then I guess we go straight over to her instead of, like, going to grab something. Uh, I'm ready. Go distract her. Okay, so he's giving us the hall pass. Now we go ahead and rat him out. Just give me a minute. Jerome is distracting me. <laughs> yes. Wow, just wow. I got the hall pass from Jerome. I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach. We've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You ratted me out to the teacher, dude. That's right, Jerome. And it's time for your ass to get take a freaking hike. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher special little suspended hooligan. Oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Yeah, you thought we were cool, bro. Now why don't you bro your ass right out of the cla uh, freaking classroom into a casket or wherever your dad's going to put you. Well, he's not. That's and because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat getting me in trouble. My dad is going to kill me. Literally, that's not just, like, he's not just exaggerating. His dad is probably going to shoot him in the mouth. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. I got a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative, though. Okay. So, we've got to... Let me see here. Get Bugs in trouble again. Get Lily in trouble. Get Monty in trouble. Okay. Um, Monty, Lily, if we hover over any of these, does it give us anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, I'm going to have to use a little bit of freaking... Uh, a little bit of my smarts, which I, I you know, I'm kind of lacking to do, to get this done. All right, so we need to befriend him. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends his morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives alone. Nugget supposes he could be a friend if you eat this nugget. That's it? Yes. Do this for Nugget and we will be friends. Okay, eat the nugget. Good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. We will dine together at lunch, Nugget. We'll see you then. Someone said... That, that voice of mine sounds like the uh, the narrator from Pit People. <laughs> I think that's from the people that made Castle Crashers. Uh, got it the other way around, boys. I've been doing that voice for a long time. All right. That narrator sounds like me. Before I collected my last apple, I have to show you guys this. Try and rat on as many of the other kids as you can at lunch. I believe in you. <laughs> Some people have aspirations of being doctors and astronauts. Our aspirations are being a rat bastard. Let's go to lunch. Okay. Now, here we are at lunch. I have ideas. Uh, you can see we're already down on quite a few kids. So, getting rid of bugs, we're going to need, I think, the poison nugget, if you remember. And getting rid of Monty, we're going to need to get him beat to death by the janitor. So, first things first. Let's go over to Monty. Uh, and we're going to... Okay, dumb old man didn't spell it right. And then his glasses are going to be needed to get past her, I think. Because if I remember correctly, we can jack Lily when she leaves uh, lunch. All right, so let's see if I can do this on the first try. Nugget, let me see here. Nugget, Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget, the nugget you consumed was very tasty. Yes, sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison. Wait, what? Nugget poisoned the nugget. What a sick ass. Okay, I didn't know about this. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes, he does that every day. But today, Nugget has poison. And you are going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. It's like a friggin' it's like speed or something like that. If the Nugget goes if the nugget goes one way or the other, I get the friggin' antidote. What kind of plot line is this? How do I poison him? 
Here is another nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is more potent. Just get bugs to eat it. Just give me the antidote or okay, I'll try. Uh, give me the antidote, not until bugs is poisoned. I'll have to take it from you then. Um, I don't know what this will do and I don't feel like starting everything over. I know I have to give this to Bugs. Bugs has to die. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. What kind of friendship is this? How come before our friendship with Nugget was so pure and lovely and now our friendship is a one-sided poison Nugget bullcrap? All right, Bugs. I know how to deal with you. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What's in it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you give me? Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. Now remember, we have to use Cindy to say that he'll look like a sissy. She won't have eat this nugget, although she's expelled, so she's really not going to care. You showed her! Now it's time to vomit your entrails all over the ground. Let me see those intestines fly out your mouth, you little squirmy bastard. All right, over here by nugget. It is done. Has not, has bugs been poisoned? It is done. Wonderful! Nugget yeah. is... Yes! Nugget is quite pleased, if what you say is true. Bugs should die any moment. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Sweet. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come and see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Yeah, Nugget, I'm gonna show you something at recess too, you little sum bitch. Alright, now, that's another kid down. From here, we should be able to get Monty have the crap kicked out of him with the biscuit balls. You spelled biscuit wrong. We only have two apples now. I think we're gonna be able to get this man. Yes, the dweeb with the glasses. You know what to do. Shove your mop in his ocular cavities. All right, nerd. It's time to take a whipping. Right there, the old janitorial lashing of a lifetime. Oh, it's like the fountain of youth spraying out of his little body. There we go. There, lessons were learned, lines were drawn. Give me those glasses, old man. I need those glasses to continue on my quest to get rid of the entire school. <laughs> shameful the way kids turn out these days. Yes, learning is bad. Yeah, it's shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. All right, let's get through this. All right, so now we go over here to her. Uh, let's see here. Can I go to the bathroom? And I think she's going to ask for the pair of glasses. Or she could. There we go. Okay, good. This should, this should be perfect. And we should have one apple left to deal with Lily. Because out here, if I remember correctly, I did this one time by accident. Go over here. Knock on the door. This is the door of the prison's office. Knock on the door. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're going to get us both in trouble. Wrong, Lily. Only one of us is going to get in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you, or we were eavesdropping on you. I'm sorry, Lily. It's every five-year-old for themselves. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let, you, to let you know. Yes. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office, and we'll talk this over again. I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this, young lady. Office now. That's right, Lily. You got a bullet with your name on it, young lady. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. I didn't know they would keep the gun. <laughs> I didn't know they would keep the bullet sounded. Yes. Okay. Thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Oh, my God. I should just turn and run, but I've got to know. You're covered in blood. What? Oh, this? Oh, it's, uh, ketchup. You're very observant. Right. Listen very carefully. Lily is going to be punished very severely for being observant. Do you understand? Yep. Good. Now get to recess. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well done. You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs. That's unprecedented. You've earned three gold stars. Someone was killing kids before us, boys. Who could have done it? All right, now how about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes, excellent. You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's going straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who, do who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. He doesn't trust you? Of course not. He may be weird, ugly, and disturbed, but he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him, 
So what do I do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much. Just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Um... Like what? I don't know. There just has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Maybe the dog head? Remember the dog head was down there. Good. Come back when it's done. Will do. Uh... Let me see some things here. Let's go down to hints real fast. Because I have a feeling we've got to have all kinds of new hints. Oh my god. There's new hints out the friggin' wazoo. Gain Lily's trust by telling her about the gum. Okay, we knew about that. You can bribe the teacher after what happens to the statue with a gold star, sweets, or money. Okay, so we can bribe her with a gold star as well. Someone was saying you can bribe her with the donut instead of using the $5. So that's good to know as well. Nugget really wants his memorability to look nice again. Okay, so that was when we put the flower on there. Talk to Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. We did that. The janitor can lower the price on the bar of chocolate in the cafeteria. If you talk to him in the bathroom. Ah! This is something we definitely want to do. Someone was saying if we can get that price down, it's like five, it's like a nickel or five cents or something. And the chocolate bar is worth like five bucks. Okay. Um, so first things first. He's the only guy left, man. There's no one else left. Go over here, Nugget. Thank you for coming, as Nugget asked. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget Cave? Yes! Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. First, he has to vomit out 10 million nuggets from his penis. There they go! Nuggets flying out with great distribution. There, now we are ready. Yes, the nuggets are utilized as a cushion. Let's go down there. All right, boys. So we made it to the Nugget Cave. Now someone said, let me think about this. Now we have the dog head. We've got the Monster Mon card. Someone said there was like a key down here or something. Hold on. So that's nothing over there. Let me just I'm just taking a real quick look around this thing. I want to make sure I get everything that I need. Um, like if I click on this, does this, the mysterious sign of omniousness. Okay, that's the, the 25 talismans of power. All right, let's go grab the dog head. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. Oh, it's going to cause trouble, Nugget. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab the Monster Mon card lying next to disin some disintegrating skulls. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, new hint was unlocked. I think that'll tell us what type of card this is. Let's see here. Uh, where's my hint at? Oh, over here. The Wizard Worm. Ooh, that sounds like a powerful card. That thing has a high mana cost. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that. Uh, is there anything else for us to do? I don't think that there is. We have the, this is interesting. We have the flower on us. But we can't plant it uh, on on the on the memorial. That's very that's very curious. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've seen everything. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Nugget Cave? Uh, yeah, but I'm ready to go. Okay, so now we're up at the surface. Now we have the dead dog corpse. Let's go ahead and bring it over here with the dog. Yes, I say it like that. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh dearie me! Is that is that is that Sydney's dog? We all knew it was. Nugget! Nugget, you sick little bastard! What is this large teacher lady? Oh, what is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never, well not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless! Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. Oh, he's getting closer to the Nugget hole. I know it was you, ma! <laughs> oh, Nugget! Oh, Nugget! What, what happened to the Nuggets at the bottom of the pit? Oh my. That was, air quotes, unfortunate. Yes, large teacher lady. Bounce your boobs over here. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. Cool! Well, would you look at that? The playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. Yes! So what now? Now I go home early! <laughs> Do, don't I get a reward? Oh, right, your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Oh, that's awesome. Well, there's no one left for me to teach today, so I'm going to go take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I can, either I can earn a gold star or you can start walking home. The choice of you is yours. Either I can earn a gold star or you can start walking home. Oh, is that like if she kills him? 
Like, if she gets rid of all these kids, she gets the gold star? I don't know. I'm going to walk home then. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. Well, bleeding from the skull. Black eye at all, boys. We just got the lunch pass, and that means that we are now the teacher's pet. And we got a new Monster Mon card. We've got to check out the Wizard Beetle or whatever the hell it was. We spent a freaking ton of money, though. Our poor piggy bank just got the living shit kicked out of it. In fact, how much do we have in there? Wow. We have nothing. So I'm going to have to play a bunch off camera to see if I can work up the money. So first things first, let's go over here to the, uh, the, wizard, the wizard thing. This is the wizard worm. That's what it was, not the wizard beetle. Not to be confused with the mage maggot. Or the search for a serpent. Okay. Good. And over here, we have the lunch pass. This is the lunch pass that you got from your teacher after getting six gold stars in one day. You can use this to spend your lunch time with the teacher. Freaky, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Guys, hope you're enjoying kindergarten, where the name of the game is killing everyone you love. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.